Hi, I'm Jill Feldman, a lung cancer patient and advocate. Hi everyone, I'm Christine Lovely. I'm a lung cancer physician and scientist. Thank you so much for joining us oh, today. It's my pleasure to be here. Answers, Christine. So we talked a little bit about what the difference is between small cell and non-small cell lung cancer. Can we talk about staging now? In non-small cell lung cancer, there are four stages. What are the stages in small cell lung cancer? Yeah, so Jill, that's a great question and a source of confusion actually. So in non-small cell lung cancer, like most cancer types that people are familiar with, we think about four stages, stage one, two, three, and four. And stage four is when the cancer has spread. It's a little bit different and honestly a little bit confusing mm -hmm. in small cell lung cancer. There is four stages, but we don't call it that clinically. So when you see your physician, they're going to call it either limited stage small cell lung cancer or extensive stage small cell lung cancer. And let me take a minute and explain what the difference is. Limited stage small cell lung cancer means that the tumor is confined, confined to one part of the chest. So the small cell hasn't gotten over to the other lung, it hasn't gone to the brain, it hasn't gone anywhere outside of one part of the chest. Extensive stage small cell lung cancer is kind of like stage four non-small cell lung cancer where this, the small cell tumors have gotten out of one lung into the other or spread somewhere in the body like to the bone, to the liver, to the brain. They are treated differently and so it's very important for all patients to make sure they're talking to their physician about if you have small cell lung cancer, is it limited stage or is it extensive stage small cell? Okay, so in terms of treatment then, how do you treat limited stage lung cancer? Is that considered non-small, or limited stage small cell lung cancer? Is that considered early diagnosis? Yeah, so another great question. So for limited stage small cell lung cancer, and let me take a step back and say, usually for earlier stage non-small cell lung cancer, the more common type of lung cancer, we usually think about surgery for mm -hmm. patients with non-small cell lung cancer. Unfortunately, for a lot of reasons, it is exceedingly rare for patients with small cell lung cancer to go to surgery. Now, you still absolutely do. If you are a patient, you're going to need a group of doctors, whether you have limited stage or extensive stage small cells. So let's talk about limited stage for a minute. Limited stage, again, usually means that the tumor is confined to one part of the chest. You will need to see a medical oncologist, somebody like me who does chemotherapy treatments, and also a radiation oncologist, somebody, okay. a doctor who uses radiation to treat cancer. We use those chemotherapy and radiation together for limited stage small cells. So it's very important that you have both of those doctors on your team and very important as patients that you talk to your doctor about what is the stage of your cancer because the stage really dictates what doctors you need to see and how the treatment path is going to look. Okay, and you would start out with a medical oncologist. Yes. And he, he, he or she would help guide you to the different doctors that you need to absolutely. see. Absolutely. Okay. So I think medical oncologists, especially if they treat lung cancer, are very comfortable to work with radiation oncologists as well. So we typically work as big teams mm -hmm. of doctors because we all want what's best for the patient. And so if you see a medical oncologist first, somebody who does chemotherapy, they may refer you to the radiation doctor, either in their practice or close by, but it is very important that you have both of those doctors on your team if you have limited stage small cell. Okay, and what about extensive stage? You still need the team? Is the treatment different? Yes, so another great question. So for extensive stage, I will start by saying that the initial treatment may depend on if you have the, a tumor that's gone somewhere that we need to deal with urgently. Let me give you an example. If a patient has extensive stage small cell lung cancer and they have metastasis to the brain or the tumor has spread to the brain, as a medical oncologist, I may refer the patient to a radiation oncologist first to do radiation to the brain. Or let's say, for example, the small cell has gone to bone and there's a lot of pain mm. in, in a bony lesion. I may refer the patient to go see a radiation oncologist to help radiate that painful bony site. Let's assume then now that, you, that we don't need to do radiation first because there's no brain lesion or no bone lesion. For patients with extensive stage small cell, which again is analogous to stage four non-small cell, 
We also do chemotherapy, and now in about the last three months, we've actually added immunotherapy into the treatment of patients with extensive stage small cell lung cancer. So that's the major difference between limited stage and uh, extensive stage. Limited stage will always be radiation chemo. Extensive stage right now in June 2019 will be radiation if we need it to mm -hmm. palliate or to help with um, tumor spots that are in really bad locations like brain or bone. But then otherwise it will be therapy with chemotherapy and immunotherapy. Okay, thank you. And one more question. When a patient is diagnosed and they go to their oncologist to talk about small cell and treatment options, is, is it important for a patient to be with a lung expert or can they get the same type of care from a general oncologist in the community setting? Yes, so I think that is um, a good question and I think for small cell, in practice, anybody, an, a community oncologist or an academic oncologist who treats only lung cancer can treat lung cancer small cell lung cancer. I would encourage you, if you are a patient with small cell lung cancer, or if you are a family member or caregiver for a patient with small cell lung cancer, the first type of treatment patients with small cell lung cancer get is pretty standard, whether you're talking about the community or whether you're talking about academia. Beyond that, there is a lot of questions and not a defined pathway. And so I do think it is very helpful if you are a patient with small cell lung cancer, to see a lung cancer doctor who is dedicated to lung cancer, so an oncologist who only sees lung cancer, who has access to clinical trials for small cell lung cancer, and who has access to the most current therapies for this disease. Okay, great. Well, thank you for joining thank us. Thank you for having me. Thank you for the answers today. Bye, everyone.